Hey guys, Dan Hood, Big DH2000 here. Um, got a package from Pulse, otherwise known as Joey. Um, he and I agreed to a trade. You've already seen what I sent him. Hopefully he gets it today. Uh, all this weather has really thrown a loop to all the postal workers. <laughs> I got something I was supposed to get tomorrow today, and something that was supposed to arrive on Sunday is still en route somewhere. So... They're having a lot of trouble because there's a lot of ice here in Georgia. So let me figure this out. Okay, for those who don't know, this is a knife blade that um, Jeb sent me from Japan and I put a uh, handle on it. Okay. Plastic trash letter. <laughs> um, he promised me a couple of forks from up north. You know, New York City, I think. I'm not sure exactly where he got all of them. But uh, some of this looks like it might even be black walnut or black locust. So there's two. You can see nice, nice spacing on this one. Probably turn that into PFS. Going to have a little bit more issues with this one because the one fork is so big. I'm going to have to trim it way down to match that. supposed to horse around with. I think that's it. One more fork. Not exactly sure what this is. Probably out of some New York tree or bush that I don't understand. We'll put the letter to the side. Another very nice fork. Not exactly sure what any of these are. I'll have to figure them out. Oh, nice. Nice dead wood that's already been stripped a little bit. Not exactly sure what it is, but I'll I'll definitely resin treat that one. And now last of all, he said something to fool around with while I was keeping busy. I wonder what that means. Oh, crazy. Have a look at this, guys. A little PFS. I don't know how to explain it. It's almost... Um, oh, it's a hoof. Like a horse's hoof. See? It's a hoof. A little tiny PFS on top. Now I guess I guess you yeah, there it goes. Tuck the hoof in like that in your finger and wrap around either side. And then you got the PFS and the hoof at the bottom. That's awesome, Joey. I like it, man. That's cool. Put real tiny bands on it, sorry, real tiny bands on it, or put tubes over the top. Yeah, it fits nice there. I wonder if it fits. If it... Either way, if you like leaning forward, you could hold it the one way with the hoof tucked back into your hand, or you could put the hoof out like it's running into your hand and hold it. They fit good both ways, man. Fits both hands as well. That's cool, Joey. Very creative, young man. You're going, you're going to go a long way, man. Keep going the way you're going, man. This is awesome. And, of course, you notice the two cores are dead center. So he, he, did the, he did the fork first and then added the rest later. Very nicely done, bud. 
Very nicely done. I appreciate it. Thanks. This will be a little fun one to put on the side and just really freak people out with. At first, I honestly thought it was like a spine, you know, like the backbone. And then I saw the hoof. That's really cool, Joey. Thanks a ton, man. Hope you enjoy what I sent your way and it serves you well. And um, I know you're in an apartment. Maybe you can shoot off the balcony because I know that you live near a park somewhere. Just don't get caught. <laughs> Take care, man. Thanks a lot.